Welcome back, Five Aces. Battle control initialized. Hey, hey, people, Five Aces here with a little addendum, a little correction. Turns out I'm a language teacher, not a mathematics teacher, not a calculus teacher either. So I had miscounted just uh, as uh, some proponents of of the rigid lection narrative have claimed there has been a massive miscount in the RAGL series that I've casted and um, yeah I turns out I ha I was of the firm and stalwart uh, conviction that uh, the first cast that I, that I had done would have ended in a 1-1 draw between Happy and Calf but alas it hadn't it was just a 1-0 in favor of Calf it just felt like two games because it was so back and forth and so swingy so as a result, the end score for the time being is not 3-2 in favor of Happy. And that's why there's 5 replays instead of 4. It is actually 2-2. Two, two. This is the real deciding match and not even that. It's uh, We're chronologically confused because I skipped the second replay. This is now the second replay in a series of best of 5. But for the purpose of this cast, it is going to be the decider. So, that out of the way. <laughs> Let's dive right into the cast. We are on a Timian version 2. We've got Happy, we've got Calf, we've got our setup, we've got everything we need. We've got the Brits for Happy, we've got Germany for Calf. Seems to be the um, factions locked in hard. And we've got apparently just double ref for both players, not surprising. Pretty relatively close spawn map and a very, very uh, defensive line for Calf who has opted for 16 rifles. I can't spot any more right now. Yeah, and this is 16, well, oh, 17. Kind of an odd number. I guess 50, a stack of 15 plus two. Maybe he's gonna find his way into the rocket soldier? Nah, falling foul of, a, of an anti-scout here. And Kav already going for his rockets. Uh, sorry, Happy already going for his rockets pretty early because there is no a chance of a vehicle coming online just yet. And you would know that from your own War Factory timing unless your opponent has rushed a War Factory, which is not advisable on a map with Econ uh, this uh, yeah, this scattered. And uh, with War Fields this large, because being on one ref then clogs your harvesters a little bit. Yeah, fourth rocket already being added on. Wow. Okay, NG has been retained. And a little detachment from Cav. A little expedition here, trying to find the oil derrick. With a little bit of luck and maybe also the engineer. But a ranger is there to just uh, deter any and all pushes. Ranger is still very much a staple of allied early game, unlike the light tank, which, which has seen some sort of a resurgence in the meta, but not all that much. Outside of mass light tank pushes, which have become kind of a thing. And that is something I can definitely get behind because it's really fun. Uh, Calf's econ stalling a bit, so he stopped his rocket soldier production for a little. And otherwise the econ should be fairly even. There should be four harvesters for both, the fifth one being added in just a second. You Maybe you're hearing my boy in the background. Ooh, there's a rocket soldier. Didn't find it, just barely didn't connect. Uh, maybe? Yeah. What is he doing? This ranger is going uh, on a very strange expedition here. Oh. Oh no. That is disaster striking. Okay. <laughs> My little toddler just poking in and saying hi. No problem. He's still not asleep. It is uh, almost 8 p.m. But that's part of the course because he is uh, sleeping in late. But in exchange for that, he's waking up early. Hell yeah. Even though nowadays I've, I've kind of got a routine for myself where I can just get up at 5 in the morning so I can get stuff done without the kids interfering as much as I love them. They're just a constant source of, you know, that they need attention all the time. If you have kids yourself, if you know, you know. The ranger just scouting out the middle. Retaining your ranger is so crucial. Oh, yeah, speaking of which. That was kind of close, a close shave, but gets to set up his MCV in a relatively aggressive position as a result of that because he knows that the um, mainstay of the infantry of Kav is still positioned defensively 
and nobody going on the aggression just yet. So it's going to be a split map, not a big surprise. Um, usually on this map, I think it is advisable... Oh yeah, yeah, Happy has done this. Happy has moved out his second MCV as soon as the first one, uh, as the expansion got deployed, such as not to interrupt his build queue. And it gives you a little bit of a better timing, because I think the actual MCV timings were even, but Kav is now a little bit behind on the expansion timing. Not by too much, though. Neither player are having their tanks in the front, and uh, we've seen in the last game how detrimental that can be. Happy still has his Ranger and still has his Engineer. So, Kav... Oh, nice try! Ha! That was close! That was super close, actually. That was kind of worth it for Happy. The combat tab should be reflecting that, and does so indeed. And the army tab as well, there's a 1k lead for Happy just now. He's also established his expansion here, so the split map is complete. Triple tank flank is being spotted, and also the barbed wire fence is giving it away. Because uh, because you, the, the crushing sounds are directional. So yeah, Happy just moving his army in position. He is ready to intercept. The expansion here being scouted out as well. Ooh, running right into the pillbox. You are in the kill zone, my friend. Army's going wide, and that this means that the tank flank, the triple tank flank, is still unscouted. I mean, it was scouted just a minute ago. You should definitely know that this is coming. It appears to be the case. It looks like Kav is the larger army, but that's not the case, because surprisingly enough, for once, Happy has the tank lead. Yeah, one Harvester down. Second Harvester is gonna fall prey to those tanks as well, I believe. Just being snacked up. Being gobbled up by the main guns. It's a uh, Abrams with a, what, uh, 85 or 105 millimeter cannon, I believe. Is the canonical explanation. Oh, Happy went for a Radar Dome. So he really needs to make this work. He needs to get some good artillery hits in to equalize the trade. Because he has definitely lost a lot of Econ here. That is two ore tracks down, and that is also an oil derrick down. One of the ore tracks being reclaimed, not too bad. But still, one ore truck and... Uh... Ouch. One ore truck, one derrick, and a couple power plants to boot. He's trying to get in with the mechanic, but this one is not going to arrive on time. So the return of investment not there for this one. Counter raided on for Carve as well, who has just now unpowered it. Yeah, those triple tanks, man, they've been successful. And they're even gonna exfiltrate, I believe. Oh, the tank micro, look at this. He's playing it so well. Yeah, trying to intercept here is happy, but he's not finding connections. Oh, nice use of the flame grill. Yep, the push is being spotted. And I believe that the ranger was not uh, not spotted, so Happy knows that it's coming, but um, conversely, Kalf doesn't know that Happy knows it's coming. It's a little bit of an advantage for him there. Ooh, the ranger could snack up some rockets. Uh, just get the consolation burst. Oh, yeah. There it is. At least one rocket. Kalf's army is so bulky. Happy's trying to position his flanks. Position his little needle sting attacks in such a manner that he can inflict some damage here. But Kalf is not deterred. He's sending his main army. Also trying to close in. Oh, that's the ranger down. That means that there is no more scouting information here. The large bulk of the army definitely in a good spot. And on the northern side, there's also some trouble brewing for Happy. I'm hearing some more tank fire. Oh, again, once again fighting next to the explosive barrels. He's, ta yep, taking a page out of the James Bond villain book. This playbook is not, not a very effective one. Man, James Bond references, so outdated in 2024. But hey, I love the series. Uh, what are those guys doing? That is one curious expedition and it is also a one-way trip. Uh, if you leave pockets of infantry like this, then it's super easy pickings for the Blackhawks, so that's always a really risky proposition. Just now, Happy is expanding to his third, uh, to his third slot. This has not yet been uh, completed by, by Kav, though. 
So Karth is securing his expansion line now. The destroy tab. Man, after the great early game from Happy, it definitely took a took a turn south for him. Man, the Brits not having the best of days right now, at least intercepting helicopter here. Artillery is getting in position. And the flank is probably Oh wait, there's a tech center. Happy on tier 3 already. Oh! And a counter tech center from Kav. Alright, so we're getting to play with fire and with the tier 3 tech. Tier 3 tech usually just uh, favors Germany because Chrono tanks are incredibly efficient if they're well microed. But I rarely see Kav nor Happy uh, or Happy go for uh, those specialized types of units. Man, what are those infantry doing? Is that an. Is that a catch all command? Select all command, I guess. Tanya is being lined up here. I honestly wouldn't hate putting her into a pillbox just to provide some extra protection, especially against helicopter snipes. But in order to do that, he first needs to know which angle the attack from uh, from Cav is coming from. And right now, uh, the attack is concentrated onto the uh, western perimeter. Southwest. Oh, this is the meme map, right? There's a flooded subpen, there is all those stupid little gadgets. Uh, flag. No, it's just the flags, haystacks. Okay, so it's not the meme map. Or is it? Come with me, golden ratio. Yes, it is. Never mind. Yep, it certainly is. Oh, the, uh, the Blackhawk just being parked outside of vision range of the anti-air gun. And there is a push and a half. Yeah, kiss your MCV, good boy. Your econ to boot. MCV gets away for now, okay. But still, losing the expansion already. And now feeding units into this is just a death sentence. North hand side, there's a push onto the uh, counter punch here. A bit of a counter push onto the expansion. He's also gonna get the econ. No, not yet even. Oh no. Oh no, he hasn't committed hard enough. So the econ is still alive here for Kav. And the army of happy is being. Oh, that's a nuke silo! A defensive nuke silo. Um, last time we've seen that was when, when I built one. I swear to god. Don't take pages out of the Five Aces playbook. Five Aces playbook is an old and crumbled one. It is not efficient. I do not recommend. Oh, that anti-air gun though. That is some value. Going to value town here. And Tanya, oh my lord. Tanya absolutely going to town. Just shredding the army. Helicopter now out of ammo. No! Minimum range! <laughs> the rocket soldiers can chase at minimum range here. Because the medic is tanking. Oh no! Okay. There we go. North hand side, there is another push. Tanya is still alive. Oh. Happy needs to snipe her or he's dead. If he doesn't... Oh, that was close. He may still be dead. There is the navsat. Doesn't do anything for now. He just sees that there's a lot of brown coming his way. A wave of brown. Oh my goodness, I just realized the brown Germans. Ugh. I don't like these optics. These optics are kind of reminiscent of something real bad. And something real bad has also happened to Happy here. Who has called the GG. And I guess he's still playing it out though. There is nothing that he has anymore. Nothing left in the tank. There is still a missile silo. Maybe he's just waiting for the nuke. Uh, optimistic. Good to DC now as well, just don't surrender. Okay, so officially, I guess the game has ended. Yeah, there's nothing else that Happy could have done here anymore. It's all ogre. Man! Okay, so a uh, little bit of a correction. I, I stand corrected. This is not a, uh, a Happy victory. This is indeed Kav winning the season. Man! What a game number five. What a game number five that is actually game number two. GG. So both players have disconnected and that just leaves us with those jolly scenes. And that crowns Hap uh, that crowns Kav as the reigning champion of RNGL yet once again. But this was by no way a one-sided series. This was just as close cut as it can get. So I'm really, uh, I've really enjoyed casting this, uh, even though uh, I kind of bungled uh, the tail end here. Uh, but we're now on the correct score of 3-2 for Cav, and as a result, the reigning champion still stands strong. Happy putting up a fantastic show though. Just uh, 
putting up such a great fight. And this was competitive from start to finish. So congratulations to both players. Congratulations to everyone else who participated. And thanks to the organizers. And with those Charlie scenes, I'll leave you into uh, the new season. Which is about to start very soon. And we're also going to cover the Dark Tournament next. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Five aces. Out. Battle control terminated.